Hello, welcome to my channel, Lady Eve Elements Tarot. Welcome subscribers, non-subscribers, cross-watchers. How are you doing? Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to my channel. As you reach this channel, know that you are blessed. We are doing a random read. This is a random reading for May 1st to the 31st, 2021. This is going to be a reading for the month of May. Again, we all know how these readings go. They could be reading in the present. They could be reading in the immediate future. They could be reading in the distant future. Or they could be reading in the past, which affects the present, which means the energy is still the same. Nothing has changed. So if it still resonates with you, that means your situation and your circumstances have been changed because you have not learned your lesson. If it doesn't resonate with you yet and you come back to the channel because something has occurred and you and you feel it resonates because something I actually pulled out in the reading has actually happened in your life, and that will be your immediate or distant future reading, and take it how it is. So, if you'd like to book a reading, all that information is found pinned down in the description box below. So, let's find out from the all-knowing, all-seeing, what will occur in the month of May for all signs, Aries to Pisces, 2021. Yeshua, well, please provide messages for all signs, Aries to Pisces, May 2021. Feeling a little tense, so some of y'all are gonna be tense in the month of May. Feeling pressure. Some of y'all may be worried about your situation of housing and finances. Others of you may be worried about your current status of relationship with your significant other. How's it going to be? When's it going to pan out? I'm going to pull from the fairy oracles and pull an oracle. Aries to Pisces, month of May. Damn, that was fast. Mm-hmm. That was the tension. Some of y'all will be letting go of a situation that no longer serves you. You're going to be feeling free when you do. Yep, y'all going through it. I see some of y'all dealing with someone very bitter that hasn't healed themselves, and this is why you have to leave that situation. Others of you will be leaving that situation, but not healing just yet. But you do need a peace of mind. Not feeling quite so positive about your romantic partner. Awakening your true self is at the bottom of the deck. Let me show you the card. Awakening your true self is at the bottom of the deck. Some of you still are in the process of needing to learn how to self-heal. Dang, this shit been going on for a year. Y'all ain't learned yet? I guess ignorance is bliss. Letting go is here. Miracle healing is reversed. Okay. We got peace of mind here, along with positive expectations reversed. Romantic partner. Some of you are dealing with someone who's not positive about this connection, and they will decide to give up on it just for the sake of having their peace of mind. They're not expecting anything from this connection whatsoever. <clears throat> and if you look at the fairy card of letting go, along with this card of the romantic partner, they both have wings. You both want to be set free from this situation 
I'm sensing some of you had way too many people in your connection. And it caused the friction. Too much negative energy. Some of you possibly had people throwing witchcraft at your connection. I'm sensing that your ex-partner had an ex that was throwing uh, witchcraft at your partnership out of jealousy. And this is what caused the connection to just vanish. Some of you, that ex-partner of yours was doing vanishing spells. This person didn't want you happy with your person who actually truly loved you from their heart and their spirit. But again, jealousy is what made this separate. Okay? There needs to be a miracle healing right now, and it's not. It's on your end for the collective. Miracle healing is in the reverse right next to letting go. So yeah, you may be able to let this person go. Or them let you go or both but the energy is that there there's no healing there needs to be a healing here you need to be calling in your guardians your archangels your guides your spirit guides you need this healing and you need prayer okay you need prayer in order for you to have peace of mind some of you just want to let the connection go because it's too much your person could be or you could be or your person want you want to let you go because there's um, I'm hearing too many addictions involved, too many afflictions involved. It's just too much. Some of you are feeling overwhelmed. That's probably why I feel the tension here. Feeling completely overwhelmed, completely burdensome. You got to let it go. For your peace of mind. Okay, I see letting go, popping out, peace of mind, romantic partner. Definitely letting this connection go. You're just letting it go, being free. Okay, some of you may just walk away in secret. I see the moon here in the letting go card. Your partner could be emotionally letting go in secret. You are physically and spiritually, mentally, and emotionally letting go of this partnership in secret. It's like you just completely walked away from the partnership here. In order to gain your peace of mind, you just want peace. That's all you want here. And some of you are walking away from a partner who's just too damn pessimistic. Positive expectations is in reverse right next to the romantic partner so this person is very pessimistic they have negative thoughts they're low vibrational mentally okay could possibly be jealous of you this um partner is soon to be an ex you are with this person right now okay but again i keep looking at that miracle healing like You may think you're healing, but you're really not. Is what I'm getting. Let me pull some cards for the collective. What's going on in the month of May? Aries to Pisces. I saw that card. <laughs> like, what the hell? I'm going to pull from my zombie tarot. I love this deck. Yeah, I may be freaking copying out there. Okay. Let's see what's going on with the collective. This is crazy. Yeah, miracle healing. You need to call in your angels, your spirit guides. You need to go cleanse your energy, cleanse your aura from this individual, and they need to do the same. Possibly, if you do that, cleanse your aura, and they cleanse theirs, you know, there's a possible reconnect. I may not see it here across the board, but I feel it. You need a cleansing. There's a lot of people that didn't want y'all in this connection with each other. Again, your partner was dealing with addictions. Something is not right here. This person is dealing with a lot of depression, a lot of issues. Yeah. Some of you, this partner wants to come back but you're refusing to let them in okay let's what's going on for the collective may 2021 
Why is letting go and he healing, miracle healing reverse? Because it is in a reverse. So I want to see something for the collective May 2021. They like, look, now I'm not trying to tell you shit. <laughs> Hold on. Why is letting go and miracle healing reversed here for the collective? Yeah, some of you are, are walking away from this connection just because you just want to walk away. Why is letting go and miracle healing reversed? Yeah. Like I said, this is separation here. If not physically, it's damn sure emotionally and mentally and spiritually. We have swords here. We have the page of swords. And we have the three of swords for letting go and miracle healing. All right, so right now, both of you are wounded. This person is definitely wounded over this separation, physical separation, mental, emotional, spiritual separation. This individual you could be dealing with, excuse me, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in the reverse page of swords, pages, messages, also young individuals, also spying and gossiping. This person is to a point now, they no longer even mention your name. They no longer even spy on you. They're too heartbroken to just be doing anything right about this point in time. And they are the ones that will be letting go of this connection with you. They're not healed because they're still in the energy of the Three of Swords, which is the separation, the tears, the crying over the breakup. Okay. They feel like you just stabbed their heart with a fork. Took a piece of their heart and ate it out. Although they gave you a piece of their heart, they feel you took it and just ran with it. This is how they're feeling. They're feeling brokenhearted over it. They feel you broke their heart. You took a piece of their heart and you broke their heart. This is how they're feeling right now. And they're in the page source. So this is a lot of um, in their head moments where they're thinking of the connection and what went wrong. What, when, where, how, why did it go wrong? <clears throat> Some of you, this person may have tried to come back to like reconcile and solidify the connection and you just said no. Again, they're broken up. They want to reconcile 10 of cups here at the bottom. They want to reconcile. They want that happy home. They want to be back. Some of you, it's a partner you got kids with. Y'all used to go to the beach a lot, go to parks, go to outings a lot, be outside a lot as a family together. And they want that back. Why is peace of mind here with positive expectations reversed? Because I'm sensing your partner or you want to have a peace of mind, but you in your, your thought processing is pessimistic. Some of you, this is your partner. That's feeling negative about the situation. Damn, they want to give me a lot. They don't take it. Put it down there. Cool. Yeah, some of y'all dealing with the Gemini. Lovers reversed. This is a soulmate connection that went wrong. Now, it could be due to outside individuals influencing this person. Or you to separate family members, the like. And I'm going to say the like for a fucking reason. There should never be no one, I don't give a fuck if it's family, intervening or into interfering in your connection with your person. Fucking regardless. If you want an opinion, I ask for an opinion. That's it. You know, some, some of them be, because they're lonely ass fucks. Telling you to be a lonely ass fuck like them. When all it took was to just communicate with your partner. Period. And if the partner had addictions, work it out. Period. Now, if it was only one-sided where you're trying to help your partner and they are just ignoring you. Because of the ignorance of them listening to their friends. 
Mm -mm. Okay, some of you. I'm going to show you the lovers upright. Some of you are separated from this individual because you realize this person was fake as fuck. They didn't have no heart for you. They just want to rip your heart out. And because you walked away from the connection, you severed ties with them. It kind of reversed what they were doing back onto them. Okay, they were being fake. It was like a fake-ass connection for most of you out there. Now, we're going to take a look at why peace of mind and, and positive expectations is in the reverse position. So, what we have here, page of hazards. We have the page of hazards. Mm-hmm. Eight of cups. Empress reverse. The mother card. Mother energy. Nine of cups. Some of you, the reason why peace of mind is here and, and positive expectations reverse, meaning this person is very negative. Okay, negative in their thoughts, negative in their habits, just very pessimistic because of this separation. Now, with the page of hats, it's reversed along with the eight of cups. Definitely, <clears throat> some of you are receiving money to walk away from this connection. So that's why you are waiting and you're dipping off. You're getting your finances and you're dipping off because this connection with this individual was making you sick physically sick okay you may not have noticed it but it's make it was making you have high anxiety some of you were probably having panic attacks okay mm -mm. some of you miscarried okay yes you did some of you miscarried and because you are the empress reverse some of you some of you have um women issues due to this individual's pessimistic pessimism negativity around them and low vibrational energy their low vibrational energy was affecting your erratic field and it was making you sick your wish is to just get away from this individual and i say this because eight of cups tops the nine of cups it's right over it see walking away is a wish fulfillment okay why is Positive expectations. Look at this shit. Mm -mm. Okay, y'all get ridiculous. <laughs> Lovers reverse. Wanted to fall out again. Ace of Cups. Block mess. Block love. Yep. That fell out for the romantic partner. So again, some of you blocked a romantic um, offering from this individual. Why is positive expectations reversed with romantic partner? Why? Let me get another card. Positive expectations reversed with romantic partner. That is way too many. Should I take it? Uh -huh, I'm going to take it. We're going to see. I'm trying to put my cards down. So if you see my hand moving a lot, that's why. Okay, we're going to get into this. So, Eight of Hazards reversed. Look at this. King of Hazards with the Eight of Hazards. This person, for most of you, this individual lost his job due to being in his head so much about the situation. There's indecision, two of swords here. <clears throat> this person is secretly not telling you that they lost their job and they're trying to decide if they should tell you that they lost their job. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn because we got the King of Pentacles here in the reverse, which is the King of Hazards. Yeah. Eight of Hazards, King of Hazards. They're both reversed. Two of Swords. Yeah, a secret decision on trying to decide if they're going to tell you they lost a job or they, this person, this individual is keeping the secret that they're out of work. Okay, so that adds pressure on top of their mental processing of you letting them go. So they don't have no money. They don't have no love. 
basically. We got the Seven of Wands here. Four of Cups reversed. All right. They're just putting up their wall right now. This individual. They're putting up their wall right now. They're guarding themselves. And they also being a bit frustrated. Because this connection was let go. Anything else that the collective needs to know? Let me see what time. Let me get one more card for the collective from May 2021. My readings are usually short and to the point unless there's more information that is to be had. <laughs> Do you need more information for the collective Aries to Pisces, May 2021? Is there any more information that the collective needs to know <clears throat> for the month of May 2021? Some of y'all dealing with the parent of your child. Look, baby daddy, baby mama. bottom of the deck is kick up your heels they're not feeling lucky at this point in time this individual some of y'all are co-parenting some of y'all want to co-parent but this person is too pessimistic to even help you out with the kids parenting and co-parenting Parenting and children. Sorry, I said parent and co-parenting. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Yeah, parenting and co-parenting. I mean, parenting and children. What the fuck? Excuse me, y'all. Parenting and children. Okay, this person doesn't want to leave your life because they feel that you do have kids together. And they just want to be around the child, even if it's not to be around you. Again, like I said, this person wants their family back. Even though you rejected them and they and they had a lot about it. Let me finish this. One. This is what's going on in May. Collective, May 2021. Collective, May 2021. Yeah, this person stuck in their head, eight of swords. Came out. They stuck in their head about being a parent and parenting their child that they have with you. For most of you out there. What message do you have for the collective for the month of May 2021? Yeah. Got it. Mm-hmm. Others of you, this is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or you could be this. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Queen of Wands is here with the Eight of Swords. Some of y'all may be stuck in your head as well as this individual. I'm sensing both of y'all are stuck in your head for a certain reason. Your partner, the kid, the parent's child is stuck in their head over the connection. What, when, where, how, why it went wrong. And they know maybe they're not accepting of what was done on their part. When the separation occurs... Each is responsible for that separation, including outside individuals and allowing outside individuals to disrupt your connection. The moon card, something is very secretive here. There's a, there's a secret that's not yet out. It is being held for a reason by the universe, but it soon will be revealed in due time. The key is here. Some of you, whatever the secret is or whatever the secret deception is, you're dreaming of it. You have the key to what it is, okay? Some of you, this individual is not telling you that they are sick. Start and reverse. They're keeping it to themselves that they're not well. Physically and spiritually, they are sick. Okay? Parenting and children. And this, this person is sick and they are worried 
about the care of the child, the individual. And even though you're the other parent, they are still worried. They are stuck in their head, eight of swords. Stuck in their head over you, queen of wands. And being in control of the situation. Others of you stuck in your head over this person lying, cheating, and stealing, and treating you wrong. All right? This is you regarding them. But again, the secret is that this individual is not telling you that they are sick. Okay? You're sick. Long night last night, y'all. Long night last night. Yeah. Because your, your spirit guides are letting you know this individual is sick. All right, some of you, this person may pass away. There's a lot of spirits lingering around them. Or there's a lot of spirits visiting them at night. During the full moon, they're going to get a rude awakening. They're going to keep it to themselves, though. Again, like I said, this person, star reversed. Others of you, this person is keeping it to themselves. That you don't give them a lot of attention. They don't feel like the star in your life. And this is why they are walking away. They're not healing from this connection. They're still hurt. Still in their feelings. Still feeling pain. Still being in pain. Painful. They're trying to be painless. But it's not working. For others of you. This is a male dealing with a female here that this male energy walked away from this female energy who is an Aries Leo Sagittarius Queen of Wands and this Queen of Wands is you know stuck in the head round and round and round and round and round about the situation okay about this thief this lie this cheat this steal this person skating away getting away with shit Kicking people down left and right to reach the top to become successful. That's what I see in that card. All right. And because that didn't happen, secretly this individual. <laughs> ah, they secretly hurting. Oh, my God, for real. They're hurting over that Ace of Cups that you rejected. With that being said, this your girl, Eve. Be blessed.